hi guys in this video we are going to to see about 300 series status codes okay and that talks about redirection okay so the first one is 301 permanently moved in this what happens now some url some api okay some api or some url url also it is like on client side on browser you see it as url but backend it uh, hits apis only okay so some url or some api got changed okay and that is like permanent change from now onward this is what it will be okay so in that case what happens this 301 status code developers used to return along with the updated url now now uh, consider this as example earlier vodafone.com was there okay after merger what they they come up with new url like vodafoneidea.com so whenever their uh, customers okay they were going to vodafone.com now they are redirecting their developers to their users to to vodafoneidea.com okay so this may or may not happen but this is what uh, some example you consider like this okay so vodafone.com was there now they have updated after merger with idea vodafoneidea.com so whenever some user is going and typing vodafone.com they are getting redirected to vodafoneidea.com so how it is happening okay at back end what will happen they will return one status code 301 one move permanently so the search engine okay the google search engine so they will understand that okay this url got changed permanently okay and what is that url that url the updated url will come in the response okay so in their search engine in their database they will remove that uh, vodafone.com and instead of vodafone.com they will put that vodafoneidea.com okay so this is what it happens generally what happens now the, the intention asking behind this uh, 301 move permanently is they'll ask you like uh, 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 mm, uh, like uh, they want to listen this search engine okay search engine like uh, uh, the url the updated url is getting updated in the search engine this is what their intention to ask this one so one more question they may ask here see if as we know if any url does not exist okay so in that case what will happen 404 not found error used to come okay but in this case even though though the company have changed this url permanently okay but still user is getting redirected to the latest url how it is happening this is happening because of this status code code okay so the older the older api older url is returning this one along with the updated url so that the the search engine what they are doing they are redirecting you to that url and as it is permanent so they are updating that url they are replacing the older url with the new one in their database okay so this is what 301 is then now 302 font so in this what happens now there is like temporary temporary change suppose suppose some some url is there and you have you are working on that url so for time being you have changed that url okay and uh, so that that if anybody will try to access that url that that user will get redirected to some other url or some other api okay okay so and that api the older one okay which got changed temporarily will return 302 along with the latest api so in that case what will happen this search engine okay they will not replace the older one in their database as because this is temporary okay okay so they will not do any changes just simply they'll redirect you to that url and in their search engine they'll still keep that one that could assuming like you will come back and start using that older API. Okay. So this is what 302 to uh, status code. Now the next one is 304 not modified. Okay. As the name suggests not modified, it is like it is pointing to it is referring to some change, some things which is not changed. Okay. Now so let's understand this with some example. 
suppose if you have a browse uh, if you have some website okay if anybody is coming there for the first time time so they are you are so that url okay it loads so many thing from the server okay so after loading so many things what it will do it will stored in the redis cache so cache used to make uh, interaction very fast right the loading things will happen very fast with uh, this cache okay so what it uh, that url will do that api will do it will load so many content into the store in the redis cache along with one more information like if modified since if modified since so here in this what will happen though some date will be mentioned over there okay so whatever data you are downloading after hitting that api so so many data gets downloaded okay so that data after getting downloaded it is stored in the cache okay and there is one flag okay in this flag if modified since since so there is some time frame okay some some time will be mentioned over here so that time so next time whenever user will try to hit the same api so in that what will happen no it will check this in uh, in redis cache whether the date mentioned here is same what it is mentioned in in the server like since that time nothing has modified if both the dates are same so instead of hitting to server getting data from there it will loads data data from the redis cache itself okay it will not go and hit the server to download all the data from different different places okay just it will go at one place redis and it will download download uh, all the it will give you give all the data from this redis cache itself okay so this is what this 304 uh, modi not modified okay so this is what uh, three things generally this they will not ask you they'll ask you this and this only okay so that's it for this video if you still if you have any doubt uh, just put in comments i'll try to explain it in some other way okay so thank you guys bye bye